pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll call meeting to order. Bill, Bill, come. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of last meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the August 13th meeting as presented by the clerk. I'll second. I'll second. Councilor Tron, we made a motion that the minutes for the 8th, 13th, 2012 regular town board meeting be approved and submitted by Deputy Town Clerk, seconded by Councilor Dino. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Okay, it is uh, a little after 7 o'clock. There is no public here at all tonight, so we will do away with the public <coughs> comment session. Um, I, I just want to go through a few things. Uh, we do have one executive session later on for a couple of issues. But uh, we'll start with, uh, why don't we just go down, we'll start with you, Bucket, first, because I've got a bunch of things, just real quick things, but do you have anything? No. Question? Chances are you're going to cover half of these. No, uh, Tim, I, I noticed they put, you, you took the curb out down on Station Street there. Yep. What's that? Yep. Now in front of his house, what do you put? We put that. Oh, you did? Yeah, six by six, cartridge oh. read it. Just to hold because uh, both houses there, they had like, a little garden and everything, and the dirt was going to fall down in the road. So, okay, no, I'm just curious. I didn't know if it was something we did here. Yeah. Um, Yeah, you got one in the packet. Uh, yeah, we, I just sent that in for you to look at to see what it was. Is they want to know if we want to become a part of that. If Shady wants to become part of that Lakes for Locks, it's the, the upcoming events of it, what they're going to be doing to promote beautification. And so they asked the town board to look over the resolution to see if we would like to be a part of it. That's what it was. What is the cost? So you're going to do it. For that start. Uh, it says 20% match required for the grant. 600 and then have it in front of the seats. Is that? I saw the figure of 600. Yeah, take it. Yeah. Let's see what I got here. Townshazy agrees to pay 20% match required for the grant, which is $600. So I would assume it's 20% of the $600 by May 31st, 2013. And to provide assistance in the development of content and install the kiosk. So they're asking us if we want to make a kiosk for the town. And I guess there's specific wording that they want us to provide or our own wording for this kiosk. It's you mean like a brochure? Or it's like a uh, no, outdoor, it's a outdoor thing. Yeah. It's kind of, I believe, like what they have down at the ferry. You would walk up to it and it yeah. slants a little, it's right. enclosed, yeah. and there'll be information regarding the area on it. I think there's supposed to be two of them, isn't there, in town? Uh, that was, where, where, there's two, where panel, two panel community kiosks. Yeah, where are they going to be? Wherever the town wants to put them, wherever we think it's the best place to that people will see my hands. I thought Bob talked to me about this. I thought he said there were going to be two. I thought one in Cheesy and one in West Cheesy. It would be nice to have Because he asked both. me about the restaurant mm -hmm. with the traffic. It was, it two, it's a two panel community kiosk. So it's, I don't know if it's one side and the other or so that I, I, like a tripod in the 
Absolutely. I thought it would be one that you walked up to and it would be slanted towards you. I thought he said there were going to be two. Maybe I misunderstood. Well, what I can do is I'll find so, out more. So we could go with two, are you? Yeah. So it would be nice to twice the amount. Yeah. At Kathy's yeah. But it's not until May 31st, 2013. So we have time. Um, so we would have to know. What I can do is I'll yeah, get more information for the next meeting and we'll, what if we decide to do it, we'll budget yeah. that. You don't have to budget it, this year. Yeah. Be a good way to consult the town. I mean, well, I think it, that whole he had a whole booklet that he gave me on that base blocks. I mean, it's they put a lot of effort into you know tourism, and they have a website that's that's very nice, and you can add your own stuff to the website. You know, the town can go on and mm -hmm. add whatever they want to it, and I looked at it. And I'll get more information on it and see. If, I'm sure it's double the price, obviously, if we're going to do two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'll give you more idea in the next meeting. Okay. New roof on the town hall. All done. 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 Looks good. No problems or anything? It's been a few weeks. Did the tower last week? Yep. Oh, did the tower do it? Uh, I think it, sidewalks are done. Yep, but they did. Well, Tony can tell you they went through and trimmed and sprayed and yep. trimmed them all, sprayed them all, and okay. killer. And uh, the rec park, that's still being worked on? Yes, I'll make a report on that. Okay. Um, let's see which call it's on here. Complained about the river being low. Oh, I got a report on that too. Oh, okay. Okay, I've got that coming up. So let me just, I'll go through okay, and report my stuff. Yep, do yep I thing. got that. I got the information. Okay. Uh, and Chris is in here, so won't get into natural gas. And I take it the county's going to replace the bridge down to the lake? They are. Um, they're thinking, I came to the meeting the other day, it, 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 they're thinking it's going to take only two or three months because it's the river down near John Foley's house near mm -hmm. McMahon Road. Mm -hmm. McMahon Road, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, apparently this, the structure, the cement structure underneath is in really, really good shape. So they're just going to mm -hmm. take the steel grids off, uh, pour new cement. It's going to be a cement bridge this time with tarmac over it. And they're going to have to do very little, like, work on either side of it. It's going to be it's going to be up nine inches from where it is now, a little bit higher than what it is now, nine inches. So, but they're out, they're thinking that if everything goes according to plan, it should be done in like two months, two and a half months. The footing is on that, or yeah, they're fairly new, very good shape. The, well, those are in good shape. They did all kinds of studies, and what's the problem with the steel bridge? Is there uh, steel? Deteriorates. Okay, so it's deteriorating. With the salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I correct? Yeah, and they said that it, it's not bad, bad, but they do want to replace it. They just don't right. have those bridges anymore, so they want to do okay. it now. They've well, got they, money. They, they're giving out very little money for bridges, they said, so yeah. this one was planned on, and they're going to be doing it. Do it while we can. Yeah. It'll end up like the one did in the toy sucker down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'll actually carry more weight, too, they said. Or vehicles. Okay. That's about it. <coughs> yeah. um, just wondering if we had received a response from the Withall family. If yep. going to yeah, I'm going to give you a little report okay. here. Okay. Okay. Um, water and sewer, everything okay? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, road paving, you'll probably be talking about that later. Okay. Um, any news from the new store? Any they had, in fact, I stopped in there the other day. They had a couple guys working on the electricity, so they're slowly working on it. Um, from what I understand now, it's they're hoping by the end of October. Oh, okay. So they're doing a little bit at a time. Okay. Good. There has been some action on it. I went in there and looked around, and they are doing repair work on the electric and stuff. Right. And we're all set as far as here for plowing. Now with the building down, we're all yep. set. Yep. Yep. It's one of my items, no just to let everybody know while we're on it, is buildings down as you can see out there. Thank you Timmy and the highway crew for coming over and they did all the work with David Lou. Um, did a great job. Uh, now they're just waiting for the ground to settle and then they can put some crushed stone or some tire mat over it, whatever, so that you can plow over it this one. But we won't have to haul any more snow. Wonderful. So that's going to save a lot of time and money on their part also, but Absolutely. they did it all in one day, day and a half, Timmy? About a day and a half. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you guys really are busy. Well. That's great. So, okay. Good. That's all I have. Thank you. <clears throat> Jerry? 
Um, just a couple of things. I got a call when I talked to Stop about it, but um, about the lack of any park benches in the park and wishes um, near the playground. Um, so I talked to Stop about it the other day, and he will probably cover more of it when he talks about the Shazy Rec Park, but I think the ones there can possibly be moved mm -hmm. to the West Shazy Park. Um, but I did get a call from someone concerned that they were not there. Um, insurance bid um, information. I have the lost runs back, and I contacted the lady from uh, the Plattsburgh office, and she's supposed to be getting together um, the declaration pages, and then we'll go up the, the insurance bid. Um, and that's about it. Um, Tim will do an update on the roads. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we went up, we paid the section of Atwood Road, section of O'Neill Road, we did River Street, and we did Old Station Drive. Uh, the salt shed's all been paved inside and all around it, the ramp, it's all done. Uh, we just got some salt the other day, we got 300 tons to get us going for the year. We set the screener and everything up now, getting ready to start doing some sand. Uh, new shoulders next week. Pretty much just normal, going around our last time uh, mowing roadsides again. We got going to have to do that. So, pretty much about it. And they're happy but, down at Eagle Lakers. Yeah, Eagle Lakers we did too, yeah. Forgot Eagle Lakers. <laughs> yeah, we paid that too. Yeah, while we're on you, Timmy, um, when would we like to do our open house for the salt sand building? I'd like to do it soon because they need want to get sand in there. Right. Yep. Um, I'm, I was thinking about maybe not this Saturday, so we have time to put a little advertisement in the paper, but maybe next Saturday, the... 22nd? So this? Yeah. Uh, 22nd. And maybe doing it in the morning from 8 to 12. That way, you know, we give people a chance to come down and take a peek if they'd like, um, but it doesn't consume the whole day. Right now, there's 300 tons of salt sitting in there. But... Inside it? Yeah, well, that's... Don't even okay. So not even phase it. Okay. What's that date? The twentieth or twenty second. I'm sorry, twenty second of September. Would that be all right for everybody? We'll do it from eight to twelve. And uh, oops, I Here. think I'm gone. I'm almost sure there's a wedding that we get out of town, but I okay. Well, we'll, we'll we should have enough people there. But, um, but I'm thinking about maybe getting a couple boxes of apples and some cases of water and just. Case somebody Wasn't wants there a little treat while they're there. We wanted to do at the same time. Didn't we want to do something? I was the electronic today, but we can't do it uh, this year. Right. So, is everybody good for the 22nd? Well, eight. Yeah. 8 to 12, we'll say. We give people time to get up and come down if they'd like to and take a look at it. That fits in with you, Tim. Okay. That fits in with your schedule? Yep. <clears throat> okay. And on that. Anything else, then? No? Heidi? Um, Bill sent you a letter on the cable franchise for the whole one. Did you get that? Yeah. <coughs> no, I was going to ask you about it, actually. Um, I needed to get from him the wording of the, what he wanted us to put in. And I got it. Um, when he emailed it to you, he emailed it to me. It was sometime last week. So I'll pull okay. it up. Maybe there was a snafu and how it got sent. But um, his secretary sent it to me at the same time. So I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, just you. verify. I mean, sent, did he have the wording in there of what he wants us to put? Yes. Okay, because I... So I'll get that. Okay. Back to you. Um, and then I have a matter for executive session. Um, there were some proposed amendments to the zoning ordinance um, that Tom, I guess, had provided. Right, and I just got them today. Okay. So I'd like to review them, take a look at them for the next meeting, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's just something that he wants us to take a look at as right. amending the zoning. And then, um, 
notice it for hearing. So that's I just to mention that. And then there was an issue um, that Bill is preparing a memo on in terms of um, access to premises for purpose of inspection by the code enforcement officer. Right. So that should be coming to you in the next week or so. Okay. What about anything else from Bill? Two things for executive session. Okay. What about the two percent tax cap? Is did he do any kind of a local law preparation for that? That's Ex one of the things for executive okay. session. Okay. Okay. All right, um, I have a few things before we go into executive session. Basically, to let you know, the, t the vault is totally done inside and out. It's all sided on the outside, which is really, really good. So that's totally, totally done. We did get the damn response from the fire, de fire, uh, fire department and um, that came in here. Yeah, about uh, the dam. Right, I'm trying to remember his name. Um, uh -huh. What's his last name? Bixler. Bixler. Yeah. Mr. Bixler. Yeah. Um, I talked to him, read the response. Uh, do you want me to tell you what the response mm -hmm. is? Basically, the last time the dam was inspected was 9-16-2009. And that was prior to uh, Hurricane Irene. And they received, at that time, a hazard code A classification. And a class A, I'll, I'll read you what it means. It says, Class A or low hazard dam. A dam failure is unlikely to result in damage to anything more than isolated or unoccupied buildings, undeveloped lands, minor roads, such as town or county roads. It is unlikely to result in the interruption of important utilities, including water supply, sewage treatment, fuel, power, cable, or telephone infrastructure, and or is otherwise unlikely to pose a threat of personal injury, substantial economic loss, or substantial environmental damage. Uh, basically, he said that prior to Irene, um, there was a lot of uh, trees that came down, and most of that trees that came down was because of the Presbyterian Church cleaning out the cemetery. But then Hurricane Irene hit, and it washed it all downstream. They were actually going to get a company to come down and clean it out, but the water went up so high that, uh, that it brought it right cleaned down it and out. cleaned it out naturally. So basically what he said was, I will add this to the agenda at the next regular meeting of the fire commissioners to see if we want to have it inspected again. But at this time, he doesn't see it, uh, any, anything being damaged or anything. So Mr. Bixler was quite happy with this. So, um, let me take care of that. Okay, update on the playground. Um, in fact, I just got off the phone tonight with Shay. And the way it stands right now, I contacted the paper. Um, they, don't, they don't do a picture of people giving money. I guess the press, book, press Republican doesn't do that anymore because there's a lot of people that do this. So what she suggested was that the newspaper will get a hold of the Wood Halls, they'll interview them, uh, get the information, get information from the committee. It will take a, pay, a picture, but they'll put it in a separate part of the paper that they do like once a month showing people that do that type of thing. Um, but we're also going to contact North Country because they may do both. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll contact them tomorrow. Um, we're hoping to have the withalls uh, interviewed on uh, Wednesday of this week. So I'm sure it'll be a few days before it's in the paper. But what Shan said was that they do the article and they would say something like, local couple donates 25000 as the headline. So. Um, and what's going to happen is um, she, her committee is going to let me know. We're going to work with the highway department to find out the site, um, scrape out whatever they want scraped out because they want to get it scraped out before spring so that if they can get all the money for the whole project done, uh, it'll be all done early spring. And uh, I've already talked to the Shazy Lions Club and guys from the highway department and hopefully we can all work together on a Saturday to put this thing up and crank it off. And, have a nice new playground. That's the game plan. So I have uh, everything's coming together. Um, since we did take that part of the garage off, we are going to be putting new tin on the balance of the garage. Uh, the tin up there is in really, really bad shape. It leaks like crazy uh, in that garage. So we're going to we're going to be able to retin it. And Hopefully within the next few weeks before it gets too cold. And, um, so I went over CompuTel, tax, yep, I think we're all set with everything else. So that's pretty much it. Now is that something Dave's going to do also? 
Uh, <coughs> yes. One other, one other project we got done to have got to mention was O'Neill Road Bridge is all redone. Yep. Yeah. That looks finished. good. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. damage from the hurricane. Yeah. So we should be getting reimbursed. Yeah, we submitted the hurricane to them, so. Great. And we did submit our last group of documents for uh, our reimbursement for the salt sand mm -hmm. shed, so uh, we got in before the deadline, and so we should be good on that. That's all? Okay. Yes, all the same. <laughs> Would you like to say anything tonight? You covered everything. The biggest the biggest hold up on the bridge stop is going to be it's 30 days from the time they pour any concrete before any traffic can get over it. So they think they can get their work done in a month and, and another month for the concrete to cure. Okay. So we will go through resolutions. What do you want to session? <laughs> First resolution is director's destruction and a request uh, for I as the manager officer, records management officer, to file records destruction request as outlined by the records retention of this position schedule. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Councilor Trombley made a motion, seconded by Councilor Devlin's. Any further discussion? Roll call. Councilor Dino? Yes. Councilor Devlin? Yes. Councilor Trombley? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Absent. Councilor Lattimore? Next one is authorization to apply for 2012 13 Justice Court Assistance Program Grant. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Motion is made by Councilor Devlin, second by Councilor Dino. Any further discussion? Roll call Councilor Dino? Yes. Councilor Devlin? Yes. Councilor Tom Blake? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Absent Council Lattimore. Next one is appointment of Jay LaForce to the. No, that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that's an old one okay. I pulled up. I forgot to change that to Ricky Moore. <laughs> appointment of Ricky Lauren to the Zoning Board of Appeals. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Councillor Dino made the motion, seconded by Councillor Devils. Any discussion? Roll call, Councillor Dino? Yes. Councillor Devils? Yes. Councillor Trombley? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Absent. Councillor Lattimore. Next is a resolution authorizing Town Secretary Susan Patnode and Assessor Patricia Ayer to attend the 2012 Local Government Conference at SUNY Potsdam. I'll make a motion. And I'll second that. Councilor Trombley made a motion, second by Councilor Jones. Any further discussion? Roll call, Councilor Dino? Yes. Councilor Devins? Yes. Councilor Trombley? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Councilor Lattimore absent. Next, the 2012 budget transfers. I'll make the motion. I'll second. <coughs> Councilor Devlin's made the motion, seconded by Councilor Dino. Any discussion? Roll call, Councilor Dino? Yes. Councilor Devlin's? Yes. Councilor Trombley? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Access, Councilor Lattimore. Next is payment of claims. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Councillor Dino made the motion, seconded by Councillor Trombley. Roll call, Councillor Dino? Yes. Councillor Bevins? Yes. Councillor Trombley? Yes. Supervisor Spiegel? Yes. Absent, Councillor Lattimore. 
One other thing before we go into the next session about uh, we were talking about the benches. Um, the Whitalls also would like to have the town look for new benches, and they are willing to donate money toward these benches. So what we were thinking of is we have some pretty solid benches down in our rec park currently. I guess they want fancier ones, which is fine. They want to pay for them. So <laughs> I was thinking about you know taking a couple from the Shazy Park and just replanting them down in the West Shazy Park. We got some really good solid benches here. They're, Sure. Well, I'm sure we'll do the job and we'll at least take two or three of them out and place them up there. And oh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll plan on doing good. Okay. Did uh, everybody get that copy of this letter here from the DOT? Oh, okay. the no part? Yes. Yes. That's yes. much easy. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, I got yeah. that. That's yeah. very good. Yeah, I see they had some columns up there. I don't know what they're doing. What are they doing up there? They're, re they're repaving Route 22 all the way from uh, oh, yeah. south of Beekman Town. Don't go by there now on that oh, road. You might sit there for 15 minutes. I sat for 20 to 25 minutes yeah. outside yeah. of it. How well, are those <laughs> bids awarded? Is that all by, do you know, Sam? Or that's you? state, so. That's state. Oh, that's a company out of Vermont. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That New York exactly. State. That's yeah. Yeah. Well, last week. That is I cannot believe that. Unbelievable! All yeah. the green plates in yeah. that state road. There's something wrong with that. That's mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. wrong. Should, should send a text to uh, yeah, or email to. If you go by the bid oh, okay. process, which, which is the law after the lowest bid, you get a sub there, right? Oh that's goodness. wrong. We're, we're, we're taking business. work away from people oh, in New York wrong. State. That's that's very wrong. That is. Which, which that is I wanted to change. stop today and take a picture of all their vehicles because it's not this? Really I couldn't believe it. The State Route 22. State Route 22. Yeah. There's a company out of Vermont. Yeah. It's all Vermont I'm plates. I'm surprised we're not paid. getting much. Oh, I didn't have lunch at the at the restaurant. People were tripping at the stand all weekend. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Absolutely. It hurt us big. Well, you know, anybody going to work, they're doing the overhead ramp under North Wayne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the they have the railroad crossing closed on the Ashley Road, yeah. and they're paving Route 22. Yeah. <laughs> she had a hard time getting the bus. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send a note to uh, Janet Dupree. And yes, yeah, really that is wrong. That I, mean, wrong. That's I mean, our local companies are forced to, you know, they have to where are they getting the asphalt? Like status to right. get to Ask Tim where they're getting the asphalt. I, <laughs> I don't know. No, are they getting it? They're getting it from the quarry, but they're shutting everybody down. Right, that's why nobody else is. Tim does it get his material. Yeah, I'm stopping. You know, when, 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 when the state painted those lights, it was 7.30 Saturday night before they painted it through Beacon County. It's got to be striped that night. And, and, and I know it wasn't the state paved because those trucks were still running at 7 o'clock. Oh, yeah. And Saturday they paved it. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. 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 Late Saturday. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's on Route 22. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's wrong. Who's yeah. controls that? Both um, state and, uh, and, uh, and the sheriff are both there, but there was. No, no. No, no the I don't the mean that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Who determines who gets the contract? I look forward to I would talk to Janet and, and yeah. Betty. Those would be the those would be the two that would let you know. Yeah. 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 And they're shutting the local pro project. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll go into executive session then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Just want to let you know this. Don't shoot the messenger. But um, when we had that ice storm on December 31st, you know, the rain, snow, sleet, all that, mm -hmm. um, got a few complaints about Shazy's roads were really, really bad. Um, I happened to be out on them. Yeah, they were, but just wanted to pass that along. I certainly understand that. It's a lot of roads that you have to cover in that. They, they, weren't, they weren't too pleasant, but. Um, so, I'll just pass that on to you. Um, any update with Pfizer? Any news? Nothing? Okay.
And who were the winners of the holiday contest? Jerry and Chris went out and did the mm -hmm. contest, so I don't know if they have, do you have a verse tonight or? We will. Oh, we will. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're still debating over it. Okay, very good. Yeah. Mm, that's... Jerry like his decorations, I like mine. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, any update with this new restaurant that might be coming anything? No, um, I think they're doing their preliminary. You know, preliminary work with the planning board and they gotta okay. go through, you know, tell them what they want to do and okay. um, where it's gonna be and go through the whole thing. So okay. the planning board will be tackling that pretty soon. Okay, that's all that I have, thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, I'd also like to thank Bob Cheeseman. Um, I spent quite a bit of time with him one day also um, going over the markers and also he was very into it, came back from meeting on the Lakes to Locks um, program, which is a, a great website that he was trying to get local input on so when people are coming to the area that they would uh, click on that and it would you know, give them the information about the area that they were going to be sightseeing or what's in town and what's not in town. So he was very excited about that and gave him a bunch of information on it. Um, the playground equipment in West Shazy um, at the school, it's on the agenda for the school board tomorrow night to be, um, to be brought up. I wrote a letter um, to Stan Karofsky and he's going to um, present it to the board tomorrow night. So I should have information next meeting on that. Um, Tim, I know this isn't our road either, but we take care of it. On the corner of um, Fisk and 22, right at the four corners, mm -hmm. where the old post office was, there's sub pump pumps out into the middle of that intersection. And it's, I mean, way out to almost the middle, and you've probably noticed it. Is there anything that can be done about that? Can they be notified? Can they, or would the county have to do that? Or should we get a hold of the county? It'd be the county. Because it dumps out there and it pumps all winter. And it, yeah. I know the postmaster in West Shazy, the other day was going home for lunch, right at the Four Corners, where the old post office okay. used to be. Mm -hmm. yes. But she went around the corner, I went in the post office after, and she said, I don't know how I didn't slide into the car. She always went around the corner. It's nothing but a sheet of ice. And she slid and almost hit the car that was stopped at the lake. She was coming on to this road at the And Fort who's Corners. pumping water into the road? The, the, the building the that's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it just seems worse lately that it goes yeah. out on into. Type of weather. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it used yeah. to run along the road and go into the manhole, yeah. and now. It doesn't. I don't know with the paving or whatever. It just it comes right out into the road because when it used to go along the edge of the road, mm -hmm. it wasn't bad. Is there a law prohibiting that? Yeah. So I don't know. Oh yeah. It, Sam, is that something that you yeah. can maybe yeah. talk to Al? I'll bring it up about. Um, um, it really can't be dumping water in the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It isn't going to the drain. Well, it used to go in the drain. But now I think just with the pitch, if they paved or something, they, they it maybe. used to go into that manhole and it was never a problem. Um, but yeah. it's just, I mean, it's not even like it's a side road. It's right as you it's, come around that corner. Yeah. It's... You got a number on the building, Jerry? It's probably... Uh, two. Yeah. two. What's yours? Uh, I'm one, so maybe they're two. They're on the opposite side. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's the old post office. Right. Another place right across the around the corner or something? Or? I, it comes out like right into the bank. I saw that when I came through there tonight. Yeah. I don't remember what that was. Um, but. Oh, so you saw it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know it was something at first. Regular yeah. Regular, that's the... um, any news on the bank? How are we making out with the Good. transfer? Everything? We're almost there. Almost yeah. done. I'd like to say it's that smooth. Sue's put in a gazillion hours with this thing and we appreciate her help very, very much. I mean, it's an hours and hours of work. Uh, the new bank's been great. They've come in and, and uh, helped out tremendously too and um, our old bank has been very helpful too, I gotta say. And 
if we really feel bad and I said, look, the door's not closed, I mean, what we have to do, what we have to do financially, and so we're almost done. We've uh, probably got, what, four or five accounts left at the moment, that's it? Three. Three. Well, partials, because you have to wait till checks clear. That's the only reason. Right. So. Well, thank you, sir. You're very good. Um, and just one other thing, um, I'd also like to thank Daly and Walter for the great job that she does at the JCEO in West Chasey. Yeah, that's right. She um, does. What a phenomenal difference. Um, and I think, you know, just the amount of people going in, you know, has increased because she's there when she's supposed to be. And, you know, she has a, a nice food pantry if people need it. Um, you know, she fills out heap applications there. Um, she has a lot of clothes, some household items. Um, she's doing a great job. It looks good in there. It's it's neat. It's clean. It's mm -hmm. friendly. It's she's person. doing a great yeah. job. It's a wonderful person. Um, that's it. Yeah. Chris. Okay. Just a few items here as well. Um, I'd like to start off wishing everybody happy New Year. And I would also like to um, I head down. Acknowledge Bob Cheeseman, Cheeseman for an excellent job as a historian and maintaining all the historic signs and, and the fine job that, that he's doing here. Um, any update on the vault? Where we stand with that? And it's coming very, very well. Actually, um, um, the first side walls are all put up, and uh, won't be long. He's going to kind of work with a couple guys from the highway department just to help him put up some sheetrock in there. And the ceilings and stuff, but after that, he can do most of it himself. And uh, I would think within a few weeks, it should be done. I mean, you know, before the door goes on, but he's working away at the sheetrock, it's coming good. Good, okay. And do we have a start date for the salt, salt and sand storage building? Where are we standing with that? Tell um, everybody's been notified. Uh, contracts were here. Uh, actually, I received them the other day from. Uh, um, the people that gave us the grant revolving fund. So I gave everything down to AEDA, and uh, they have all the documents, and then I had to verify the insurance with Curtis. So I gave them all the uh, um, insurance documents, and ADA um, sent down what was required, and he okayed it, everything went good. So they have it, they're ready to roll. Uh, we're just waiting to hear when they're gonna start. So they'll be starting. We've already processed even our 25% uh, advance. So we should be getting that very quickly. Got a letter confirming that. So it's just a matter of hearing from the company of when they're going to start. Okay. And um, the highway department is it accepting Christmas trees again this year, Ted? Yep. For, for recycling? Yep. We've been checking on that. Okay. There's a sign right out right on the edge of the driveway. Okay, good. And I received a phone call from Mr. Brandler, and I, I want to bring it up to the uh, to the board. It's in reference to the old library. And what Mr. Brandler um, just wanted to verify the fact that the board still, or that the town still wanted to stand with the rejection of the old library building because people in the town did ask Mr. Brandler if it was presented to the town. Um, accepting the building, and um, I advised them that it was brought up a while ago, and, and the board did indicate that it had no interest in it because of the maintenance and stuff. But I felt that it would be a good idea to bring it up to make sure that everybody still had that same opinion as far as um, not accepting the library. Oh, I think what we talked about was. You know, it's, it's another building that we have to maintain, it's another building we have to heat, it's another building we have to insure. It was a big expense, and what do we do with it? I mean, it's not big enough to really do anything with it. You know, we talked so many investors about it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because oh. it is a historic building in general. But it's just, I don't know what we do with it. Somebody had mentioned maybe putting historical Bob Cheeseman in there, but it's so small. I mean, he's having enough problems in the space that he's in right now. And, You'd like to have a lot more space too, but I don't know what we would do with it. What purpose would we have for it? Okay, um, but he did mention that, and I, I felt that I should bring it up to the, to the board meeting. Um, the other thing as well is, um, in the past, um, we handed out plaques to the uh, uh, 
state champions. And I don't know what's coming. Oh, you do? You yeah. have ordered one? I have one coming home. I haven't received it yet. Um, did we get it? No, we haven't got that one yet. We got Tim's, okay. But that one should be in any day.